When should you switch to a different game engine? Hello, today I'm going to discuss why I switched from using Unity to the Godot engine. Even though I've spent months learning Unity and making prototypes in an attempt to one day become a game dev, I've decided on Godot. So what did I like about Unity? To start, I wanna say that I enjoyed using Unity. It had a lot of powerful tools, some that I never even got to play around with. It had a really great user base online, including on YouTube, that were great places to turn to whenever I got stuck. And finally, it was free. I know that technically if you earn $200,000 or more than you have to pay, but let's be realistic here. As much as I can dream about making the next big indie game, my first goal is to make a game. If anyone besides me plays it, I'd be overjoyed. But that brings me to my next point. What did I like about Godot that made me switch game engines? To give you a bit of behind the scenes as to how long I've been trying to make games off and on, I made my first prototype of Pong in Unity, Unreal, and Godot back in October of 2023. I made my second prototype soon after and then decided to remake Brick Breaker near the end of November that same year. I mention this because I'm writing this script in March of 2025 and this video is planned to come out a month later in April. So what I like about Godot versus Unity isn't a fair comparison at this point because I've been using the Godot engine at the time of writing this video for over a year. Although the exact time is significantly less since 2024 was a really busy time personally, so I didn't accomplish much progress in the way of game development, unfortunately. But back to the point. So what makes Godot the engine for me? I started by remaking Brick Breaker in the engine, and I was combing through the documentation, watching beginner videos on YouTube, and getting a lot of things wrong. Despite me getting these things wrong and encountering obstacles, the thing I noticed after some time was how intuitive, approachable, and fun to learn Godot is. Maybe it was my experience in Unity, but I picked up Godot much faster, and the implementation of features seemed easier to me. I love the node system, and I really resonate with how making a game in Godot feels like building something with Legos piece by piece, only now I can make the piece behave however I want with code. GDScript is also super intuitive, and my time learning C Sharp isn't for nothing. Uh, since Godot supports that language too. I'll figure that out when I need to. So let's get to my prototype. I started making Brick Breaker where almost every game dev starts, figuring out how to make something move. I then made a little ball in play area. The ball needed to collide with the player controlled paddles and next came the bricks that needed to be broken. They collide with the ball and break seems simple enough. But then I took it a step further with the bricks having different levels to them. This means that when the ball hits a brick, it could lower the level by one, and if it eventually reaches zero, then the brick breaks. But I needed to make it obvious to the player that not all bricks are the same. So I made it so that each level corresponds to a specific color, and that color changes alongside the level. I then added a red arrow that would only pop up when the ball was reset so that the player can choose which direction to launch the ball in. Next came a small feature where the paddle can impart some of its velocity onto the ball. This is so that the player can have a bit more say in where the ball goes as opposed to simply being a wall for the ball to bounce off of. I finished my remake of Brick Breaker by making multiple levels, giving the player lives, making a small UI in the top left corner, and randomizing the level of each brick when the game is loaded in to make sure that the game is more varied and replayable. And that's my Brick Breaker prototype. The first of many videos I have planned to share with you all using Godot as I learn how to become a game dev. Thank you for sticking around and let me know in the comments what game engines you'd like to use and if you tried using Godot or any other game engine. If you like my content, please check out some of my other videos. Until next time.